Well, there is one place I know. It's quite a drive. Yeah, fine. The farther, the better. There is one place I know. A lady runs it all by herself. She won't ask your name. No one can know when we've gone. No one will. Will you pass me those? You shouldn't be smoking. Yeah, we'll open a window. I showed you a picture of those black lungs. Will you not argue with me? Okay, just pass me cigarettes. I need a cigarette. Saw like a restaurant or a gas station? No, it's, this is what people do in the country. I guess. It'll be good for us to be out here for a while. staying for mom how long that's it here we go Those goats. Wow, they're so little. Okay, well, don't pet them. We don't know this lady or her animals. Come on. They're just goats. Okay, just look at them. Don't touch them. I'll be there in a second.
do. Welcome. Thanks. Hi. Want to come in and see him? Mom, can I? Sure, I'll be right here. All right? So, don't let these little guys out. They kind of wreak havoc on my road there. They won't hurt you. You can set them. I thought that one died. <laughs> no, no, they just startles all. They don't know you. You're a stranger to them. But they know me. Yes, they do. Come on back now, honey. I don't keep records here. I don't keep records. Don't ask names. Don't need to know your troubles. Just that you have them or you wouldn't be here. Andy sent a call earlier and they told me your folks were coming. You're staying, aren't you? Is there anyone else here? Well, not at the moment, but there's always more coming. Listen, if you don't want to stay the night, that's, that's fine. It's just... Let me at least make you a meal, and you can decide if you're coming or going. You two had any supper? Just made this fresh this morning. Hmm. Could you help me? Would you mind? I sure would love it if you could help me set the table. Would that be all right? Go ahead. Do what B says. If you go over in that other room over there, there's this great big old cupboard. You'll find everything you need. She's a pretty little girl. How old is she? Eleven? Twelve. Twelve? Almost thirteen. Almost a young woman. Time goes pretty fast. <laughs> Faster than you think. Before you know it, she'll be bringing boys home. I, we're just in the middle of... Oh, yeah, sure, sure. As long as you're here, we may as well just deal with the present. This is a, a safe house. There's no men allowed here. Lady guests stay as long as they need to. If you need a night, you stay a night. And if you need longer than that, well, we've got that too. I just need some time to figure out what's next. Well, we all need that, don't we? But if you are gonna be living here, I do have a few rules. Um, I don't charge anything for you to stay here, but I do expect for you to help me with the day-to-day -day run of the farm. That's only fair. Okay. Good, well, that's one. Uh, two is, as long as you're here, you need to stay within the boundaries of the fence line. That's as much for your protection as it is mine. Here's where you come for your privacy and, and your safety. So as long as you're here, you know, the only reason you leave the property is if you're leaving for good. That doesn't sound hard. See, I got a lot of folks around here that are kind of curious about what I do and they want to question my ladies, and I just can't have that. And that brings us to number three. And uh, number three is I don't allow any kind of substances on the premises. I mean, if you want to poison your body, you need to do that on your own somewhere else. Those are just crutches to some kind of unhealthy lifestyle. That's not what we promote here. That means no cigarettes, no alcohol, and no drugs, nothing. And those things, they just... Well, they just make you weak. Judging by that face of yours, that's the last thing you need. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I know what I see with my own two eyes, and I know what I smell. And you smoke around that young child of yours. Probably drink, too. You know, <laughs> kids are awfully impressionable. 
I mean, what you do really affects him. I don't have a problem. Well, I'm, I'm not saying that you do. Um, problem's mine, but as long as you're staying here, you stay clean. That's it. Okay? Good. In the meantime, would you mind helping me get all this to the table? Wow, you are hungry. We haven't eaten all day. Vic. I usually feed her just with everything that's been happening. Well, there's there's plenty of seconds. You both help yourselves. Are you done? Well, I just don't have much of an appetite lately. I don't know what it is, the weather, or just getting older. Excuse me. I'm gonna go throw it out in the field. Something I'll eat, it always does. We don't waste much around here. I like her. Yeah? Yeah. Just me and you now. Yeah. It's just you and me. Things are gonna get better, right? Vic. There's no going back. We're just gonna have to take this day by day. Summer storms, they're all talk, no action. <laughs> we haven't had a drop of rain since the first week in August. You know, maybe, maybe I better move your car. Oh, I can do it. Oh, uh, well, do you have anybody looking for you? No. Well, we're liable to be fine. Nobody will see it. Uh, we'll just do it tomorrow. Just change the sheets. And there's uh, there's some extra blankets in here because it gets kind of cold at night. And there's a nice nice flannel one right there. So, whose is that? Oh, well, that was probably one of the last guests. Yeah, leave kind of in a hurry. Some of these girls don't pack or nothing. Might fit you. Try it on. I don't need it. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna get you out kind of early, 7 a.m. Got a lot to do tomorrow. B? Mm -hmm. Thanks for taking us in. Sure. Get some sleep now. Thank you.
I'll take your keys. That's all right, I got them. Well, it's just I got all kind of girls coming in and out of here. You just don't want the wrong person taking your car in the middle of the night, so I'll lock them up for you, but... Okay. Thanks. What was that? Oh, well, rats, most likely. The whole thing's infested, wood rot, everything else. You know, tell that girl of yours, stay out of that barn. Barn's off limits. More rules. Three. Forty. Is that enough? Well, ideally you want 52 of stock, but we didn't get much rain this year, and that didn't help anything. Will more grow? Hopefully with a little help. Well, what else do you see on those plants? Looks like some insects have been eating the leaves. Oh, come on. Look a little closer. Oh, they're just ladybugs. That's right. That's what we want. We want those ladybugs to eat those aphids. Circle of life around here. Something's here to protect something else. I'm here to protect you. You're here to protect your daughter. Yeah, well, sometimes I wonder if she thinks I protect her at all. Don't mind my saying so. I think maybe it's time for you to act more like her mother and not the other way around. here. Let's go pick some vegetables for dinner. We brought all our own food around here. We? Well, you're part of the we now. Hey there. How did you get out? Come on. Well, sometimes I think they want me to eat them. You get your ass down here now! Matty! You. I see you there. I'm talking to you. Where's Matty? I don't, I don't know, Matty. Where is she? I told you, I don't know Matty. Ask me. I aim to find her now. Where is she? You keeping secrets with her? You better get in there! Now, Maddie, I know you don't want me to have to come in there and get you. Please just go away. There's no Maddie here. I don't know a Maddie. Best open this door now. You want to open that? and talk to me is all. Well, she said she was coming home, but she ain't come home yet. And I know she been here. You open up the door! Mary! You come back. 
you die. I'll be back. Crazy fucking bitch. One never gets a hint. I'm gonna teach you girls how to defend yourselves. You can't walk unarmed through this life. What are you drawing? Nothing. Well, you sure are concentrating pretty hard on nothing. Can I see it? I promise not to criticize. It's not done. Well, how come you draw something like this instead of... I don't know, flowers or butterflies, something like that. It's just sometimes I've got things in my head that I need to get out. Well, you sure do have a talent. Well, come on, it's dinner time. Day's work, but you haven't worked like that in a long time. Must be nice. What must be nice? Feeling hurt for doing something good. I don't know if I'd call that nice. Well, you got to learn how to do things for yourself. You can't just keep running. Yeah, well, after today, I wonder if I ran far enough. Still worried about that jackass? Don't worry about him. I lock all these doors. I sleep with one eye open. Guess I could always just play dead. What, like my goats out there? <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. You know what those goats are bred for? Well, those are fainting goats. You take those goats, you put them out in the field with a sheep. And the wolves come, and the goats faint. And the sheep run off. What do you mean? Well, the wolves eat the goats. You're like one of those sheep. You got away. Do you, uh, do you need anything from the kitchen? Well, making yourself at home, no. That's good, that's good. No, I'm fine, you go ahead, help yourself.
run off. What? Yeah, I just thought you'd run off, so my girls do sometimes. You fine? I thought once we were down here, I'd take a stroll down to the bar. Really? Why would you do that? I saw some red currants down there. I thought maybe I could make some jam with them. You know how to make jam? Well, I, I was hoping you'd teach me. Well, first of all, those ain't currants. And second of all, you don't need to be going down near that bar. Third, I'm afraid I have another job for you. Goat fence needs fixing. Where shall I go? Damn coyotes are getting awful bold. Don't worry, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Sure. Where did I put that? I swear I would lose my head if it wasn't attached to my neck. Hey, little miss. Your mom's doing a good job fixing that fence there. You all right? Yeah. You like to paint? Yeah? Well, come on, I got something to show you. I always like to paint up here. There's good light, fresh air. Come this way. I'm working on. Just gotten started. You like it? Work 
paint whatever you want. It's fine. All right then. Yeah, I know what they say. Muse never visits the idle hand. Was she? Who? Oh. The girl that that man was looking for the other day. Maddie? Well, Maddie was on the run. Kind of like you and your mother, you can understand why. She's a good girl, mostly. She just faltered, so. What's faltered? Faltered? Well, she lost her courage. She was weak. Kind of like your mother. She wanted to go back to him, said he changed. Partly my fault. I wasn't as strong with her as I should have been. But I did try to save her. Like I try to save them all. My own way. Just like I'm trying to save your mother now. So where'd she go? Wherever girls like her go, I guess. She chose her own path. Now you just paint whatever you like. You know, I find it kind of helps me to move on to the next part of my life, just like you.
quiet out there. here. Mom? You come finish up here, honey. I know how you like things done a certain way. What do you think you're doing? I need my keys. I'm serious. Honey, come here. Child, go in the kitchen. Baby, listen to mommy. What's gotten into you? I need my keys. You can't leave yet. I don't feel safe here. You don't feel safe? Listen, it's, it's obvious you run a really nice house here, but I just think what happened yesterday still got me a little freaked out, and I think it's best that my daughter and I just get moving on. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Baby, we're not done talking. I've made up my mind. Mom? The police are here. All right, all right, okay. Both of you, get upstairs. Get upstairs now. Juan, get upstairs, get upstairs. Put your stuff in the closet and don't make a move while he's here. check-in. Is it that time again? Afraid so. All right, then I guess I gotta let you in. Must say, I never get tired of seeing those goats of yours. Oh, you think the feeling's mutual? Oh, I don't suppose they think about me much either way. <laughs> <laughs> Are the police here? I don't know. Like, shh, okay? Let's be quiet with bunnies, okay? You mind if I take a poke around? No, no. Just uh, poke your way to the kitchen first. I'll make you some coffee. But I'm fresh out of donuts. Now, B, that ain't nice. I, I like healthy things. Carrots and celery and such. Does that mean you don't use sugar anymore? Oh, just a touch. This grandfather clock still not working? Uh, nope. Bet it's worth a lot. You should take it to that Antiques Roadshow. New hobby? All oh, that. Just do it in all my spare time. Addictive, aren't they? Now, you're not going to finish that on me, are you? No, ma'am. Now, you know that I do not enjoy this any more than you do. And we all understand your concerns. I don't believe that when I see it. We do, but these women are technically missing. They have loved ones that need to know they're okay. We gotta get out of here somehow. For what? I don't like this place, Vic. Be said it herself. She's keeping us safe. Like she's doing right now. Something's not right with this place. Something's not right with me. And that's why the law is there to protect them. But I'm more concerned with the ones who maybe aren't in trouble at home. The ones that maybe need to be found. Well... Like I've told you, I take these women in to protect them, and my loyalty is to, to them, not to you. Come on, B. Who's been staying here? <sighs> Anyone here now? No. I don't keep records. I don't want to ask questions. I have to, ma'am. I'm sorry. Now, just look at these photos. You don't need a name to remember a face. 
No, thank you. B, you've known me for a long time. It's not like we're gonna put anybody back in the hands of some monster. But you said it would be good to stay in the country for a while. Yeah, plans change, okay? Yeah, and we're staying here. I am staying here. These men are desperate to know if their women are all right. But you gotta know that there are some women out there who are... There are women out there who what? Abuse the system. Open up your eyes. Not every woman that walks through your door is a victim. You, you said it yourself. You don't keep records. You don't take names. So you don't know everything there is to know about these gals, do you? Just know what I know. How about them? You see them? Who are they? A woman's woman. Darlene Brooks and one of them, Victoria. Both missing. Where can we go now? How about their faces? Well, you really want to find them, don't you? So they haven't been through here? You know what I'm going to say, so why do you even ask? Anyone upstairs? You know, I can't be a real search without a warrant now. Well, if anyone asks, I'll just say that I went up to see if you'd redecorated. Find anything? Oh, just that new paint job. Oh, thanks. I did it myself. Oh, thanks. You know, this will be my third cup this morning, and I'm going to be jittery as it is all day. So I think I'll thank you and take my leave. All right, then. Should I be worried about these two? B, yeah, I'm not going to tell you how to run things around here. Well, now, I'm getting to be an older gal, and I'm out here all alone. I need to know if I need to be protecting myself. Now, Ms. Salter, you and I know that you are the last woman that needs protecting. But if you do see him, you might consider relaxing your usual policy. Take care. Hey, did you forget your photo? I'll leave him with you. You give me a call if you remember anything or if one of them shows up. Trust me, you're not gonna open those keys anytime soon. Sweetheart, why don't you go feed the goats for me? You try to stay here. Now do as I say, I got a few things to clear up with your mother. Where do you think you're going? Jesus. I asked you a question. I just think it's time that Victoria and I There's get... somebody out there looking for you. No, it's not. Don't lie. There's somebody out there looking for you. Now you want to put yourself in that little girl of yours in the line of fire? B, it's, it's not like that. You need to consider your priorities. Did I 
tell you, darling. You got not to be doing this. Be what not to no. leave these no. premises. Be for me. door locked. What's going on? I'm fine. I'm okay. What do you do now? It, it doesn't matter, Vic. Can you, can you do me a favor? What? I, I need you to do what, what B says, okay? Listen to B. And, and, and be careful, sweetie. Why did she hate you? Victoria? Victoria, your mother needs to be alone right now. She's been drinking. She needs her rest to get better. Go on, baby. Come on now, those goats need feet. Slaughter a goat tonight. Thought maybe you'd like to help. Tell me fucking joking. It's no cause to cuss. You know the rules about contributing to the household. What if Victoria's life depended on it? <laughs> maybe I'd just ask her to help. Knife. Do you know where it is? 
it, it makes me feel safe. Oh, you're safe. How are you feeling? How do you think? Did you pee? Yeah, over there. Did you clean it up? I used some clothes. Good girl. Well, get cleaned up. Come on, get cleaned up. I'm making flapjacks and sausages. Must be starving. More syrup? Thought I'd sleep with you tonight. What? In case somebody comes after you, so I'd be there. I used to sleep with my mother. Same thing, really. You should think of me as family. Sure. Family. I'll let you clear. I'm gonna do with this painting when I get done. I'm gonna hang it downstairs for all the ladies who come through here to see. You know the story, Little Red Riding Hood? Tell me. She goes through the woods and she's visiting her grandma and then she meets the wolf and the wolf asks her where she's going and then she tells him. And then what does the wolf do? The wolf runs ahead and then he eats her grandmother. And then he dresses up in all of the grandmother's clothes so she'll think that the wolf actually is her grandmother. And then when she gets home, he eats her too. What happens next? And the woodsman comes and he saves her. And he comes in with his big ax and he kills the wolf. And then he cuts him open and gets Little Red Riding Hood out, as well as her grandma. Because they're both still alive, right? That's not the real story, you know. See, in the real story, there is no woodsman. A long time ago, people got it in their heads, mostly men, that Little Red Riding Hood couldn't take care of that big bad wolf all by herself. So they added the woodsman to do it for her. You understand? The men took away her power. So what's the real story? Well, the real story is Little Red Riding Hood uses her head and she takes care of that big bad wolf all by herself. That's the story I want my girls to learn.
Everything all right? Alan, what are you doing way out here? Oh, I'm just taking the long way around, you know, splashing through the puddles on the back roads, you know. Well, it must be a slow day. Why are you parked out here? Everything okay? Yeah, well, I just heard some funny noise in this car, but it must be just overheating is all. Everything seems fine now. Well, you need a hand? No, I got it. Everything's good. Thanks. Is that a new car, B? Well, new to you. <laughs> well, thanks for checking on me, Helen. You, know, you you drive real careful now. Take good care of you. You're never good to have a little girl. I'll be a good mother.
Ja. Got something I want you to help me with. I told your mother about them goats. What? Well, when the wolves come, you either run like the sheep or you fall over. Like one of them goats. Why would I fall? Well, if you're weak, I guess. The trouble with running, though, is wolves come after him. Bad things can happen. In a place like this. What if I'm the wolf? What's in it? Oh, sometimes when one of the goats dies, I, well, I take some parts out here and leave them, and coyotes take care of them. You ever hear them out here, late at night? Yeah, they scare you? No. Good girl. Just gonna put these bags over here. Let the coyotes dig into them for themselves. So powerful. See? Which animal are you? Well, what do you think? Peggy, Peggy, 
I know you hiding, but I'm gonna find you. Good. Fuck you, you crazy old cow. Always let this happen. Baby. You said things were gonna get better. You always let this happen. No. You made us leave. Victoria! It was gonna be okay. No, it wasn't. You left me. No, I, I, I was trying to help us. You don't even know how. I'm trying, Vic, okay? I'm really trying. Well, you failed. Victoria! 